Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Reality Realness. I'm Chantel Francis here with my two co-hosts today. They are... Jonathan. Hello. <laughs> and Jojo. Hi. But our Woo! guest today is the Miss... <laughs> Susie or Sue or whatever you want to call me now. Susie Q. There you Susie go. Susie Q. She is our first evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake Four house. Congratulations oh, for getting this far, playing the game. How are I'm you so feeling? Uh, a little upset and wondering why, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go along. Um, so we'll, we'll, we can just start with there. What, like, what do you think went wrong with your game? Honestly, I, I don't know because um, I'm very outgoing. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm always smiling. So I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm sure I have some kind of enemy out there. Were so you, a, sorry, were you a big brother? Were you a big brother fan before joining I'm, the cheesecake world? No, no, I just, okay. no, I, my son has too much lacrosse. So no. Fair. Um, no how did, how did Andrew rope you into playing? <laughs> He's been trying to rope me out for a long time. And then I just gave up. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. What's the well, harm, right? He had faith in you to yes. actually play the game. Yes, which is nice. Yeah. He's, yeah. And He's my Susie, mm -hmm. often the um, the first person out is a victim of, you know, alliances forming, and maybe you're just not in the right one or the larger one or, or whatever the case. Like with our season, Princess was the first one gone, and mm -hmm. that was solely because of you know other people trying to mess things about. So. It's not necessarily about you, and it more is it. It's about kind of everyone else, kind of in where it all falls. So, yeah, no, there was no alliances. I know a lot of the um, house guests did think of that, but uh, I already told them no. I mean, you can say whatever, but they're not gonna believe you, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm always honest. So, there you go. There is no alliance. Like I said, it's hard to be aligned with somebody because you don't chit chat with them i go in and out of work i don't want to even want to be at work <laughs> i'm done and i'm out like there's no chit chat with nobody so it was odd that i was like you're on it too and you're on it too i'm like oh god here we go well were you surprised when curtis nominated you yeah i was like what the heck is this like how why what did i do to you <laughs> like what did i do and then he writes back, he goes, oh, I'm so sorry, but this is the way, you know, I apologize. I'm like, no, no problem. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Can't you asshole? No, you no. can't say that. I mean, you can. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can, but yeah. that's not my character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was fun. Um, so were you surprised that Marcin didn't use the veto on you? No. I wouldn't use it either. Why not? Like, not at the first time. I mean, he works with me, but that I don't know him from a hole in the shoe other than, hey, how's it going? But that would be a target on him. And I'm sure everybody's talking about it now. It's like, wow, he didn't do this and he didn't do that. But you know what? At the end, you are a target. All of them are a target now. No. And I'm sure it's all, all the bus drivers are going to be kicked out, which mm -hmm. I don't think so, but. Do you think that if someone from sales uh, won the veto, they would have used it to save one of their own? Um, we well, I'm gonna say yes. I'm go I always go with my gut feeling. As you guys, I don't know if you guys saw my um, card game. Yeah. I should have used. I should have yes. used my gut feeling. Right? Yeah. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Listen but, to your yeah, husband. I think so. I know. Like oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yes, I, 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 um, yes, I'm gonna say yes to that. Yes, to the sales. The girls were awesome. There we were. We I think Andrew <clears throat> talked about a lot of talking and this and that. We were constantly blah 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 and you know girl stuff and there was a lot of talk about penis which I missed because it was like midnight or something. And I was like, <laughs> I gotta get up in three hours. Not happening. <laughs> oh, I miss it. But I was reading all through. I'm like, oh my god, re oh my god, I missed this. It's like damn it. Um, is there anybody that you feel betrayed by or who do you feel the most betrayed by? I don't know. Betrayed? No, because I, they were all honest with me. They would say, you know, I'm on the edge or I'm on that, or I'm going to vote for you. They were pretty like most, all of them were honest straight out, but 
No, not betrayed. I felt so, a little weird on the, I don't know if you guys heard the little tiff that uh, our sales department had. Yes. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I'm waiting for you, Jojo. Go ahead. <laughs> there, was, there was a mention of Ashley telling Brenda a secret, um, and then Brenda might have. No, it wasn't Brenda. It wasn't Brenda? No, it was between um, Lynn and oh, Ashley. Lynn. Yeah. Lynn and Ashley. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? I'm just hearing, I'm doing a work, I'm trying to get shifts going, and all of a sudden it's like, bang, 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 bang. And it's like, holy shit. Like, what just happened here? And I'm reading, and it's like, you this, and you know, like, I can't trust you, and same to you, and shit emojis are going on. I'm like, all right. And this was, this in, was this in your <laughs> private? Uh, yes, this is our, our, our sales group, yeah. Yeah, yeah so this was our sales group. And do you think that was uh, completely authentic or do you think that some of that was staged? You know, it all came from Chad. Mm. That's what it all came from because he wrote, there was an alliance and then everything went out Shit's Creek after that. Hmm. And I'm like, who are you? I don't even know you. Susie, yeah. Susie Andrew has mentioned um, mm -hmm. knowing of three alliances at least. Yeah, um, I'm, I have no idea on that one. You have no idea? No, uh, you know how you said pen and paper? I have a booklet already of who might be with who and what, who might. No idea. Be, no, no, no. I just know um, one of the departments said, I'm not going to be voting for you. Very honest. She was very honest. So I was like, okay. I, I mean, why not, right? Each department, like I would do the same thing. Each department stays with their own. Because there's four, sure. right? So yeah. why not? There's and power in numbers for sure. Well, big Who do you time. think your four votes were to keep you? Well, if you want to say. My... Yeah, you don't have to say if you don't want to, of course. Four? Right. It's a thing. Well, obviously, you know, they want to kick out all the out bus operators. So I'm sure all three, I know from three of them, which three, they said yes. Now the other ones, the fourth one, I'm not 100%. I'm sure all four. I don't. Marson couldn't pick, right? No, Was he, he could, allowed to choose? No, he could, he could vote. Okay, yeah. so vote. then there you go. There was four. So I'm sure those four were. Yeah, four. Because there's there's five operators to start with uh, to begin with, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm assuming all of them did, because you know we from all the seasons that they've been telling me, oh my god, everybody's kicking the operators out first, blah, 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 yeah. right? So it's like, okay, it's just so fair. If, we, if we that tried. was the case, then there were people within sales who would have Did voted to vote. evict you. Absolutely. Interesting. And I have nothing against any of them, yeah. but, you know. Now, I, I wanted to ask you this, and without giving it away, mm -hmm. um, another twist of the season is the mole. You obviously <sighs> are not the mole. No, and I do know. You think do you think that you know who that person may be? No. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying. But no, because that's a sneaky person. And even if you think about the sneakiest person, it can all turn around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you can be, like, all bubbly and all this. And I think a lot of people said that. Because I had somebody... Um, uh, say, you know, I'm sorry to hear I had to vote against you because I thought you were the mole. And I'm thinking, what? How? <laughs> Jojo's I'm face like, knows that's yeah. the excuse. <laughs> and it's like, no, no. But I'm like, the opposite. Doesn't the, the, um, the mole want to be kicked out? So Absolutely. There's, that's what I'm saying. And I, I feel, yep. I feel since we're on the subject, if I was the mole, I would actually not touch base with anyone really. Right. And, and so it's easier for them to be like, oh, that person, because I don't even know who that person is. Mm -hmm. And then reveal if I did get voted out that, hey, actually, I was doing that on purpose. Yep. Um, and start building relationships. And in the main, in the main um, chat, there was a few that did not socialize. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, I'm always like chit chatting. I'm always, you know, talking and trying to. Uh, make conversation and it's like well this person and this person and this person and it's like hmm, could it be because it doesn't mean that it could be the mole could always be socializing yeah, yeah there's sure. always that rat smell somewhere <laughs> um what was your strategy going into the game 
my strategy huh, i didn't have a strategy <laughs> that's for sure i'm like wait let me listen to what you guys had to say oh i got it yeah. paper drinking and having fun that's all good, that good. i was doing did you and have i them? did i had yeah. a, oh i had a blast good. My husband's like, what are you doing? You're never on your phone. I'm like, shh, shh quiet. I have to do stuff. <laughs> Let me concentrate. Yeah. Oh, like, I had to. If you were invited back? Oh, absolutely. I would do it. Now I would do Andrew, yes, I would do it. <laughs> awesome. Good. And what would your new strategy potentially be? Oh, I don't know. I'm not giving that away. Good answer. Smart girl. Smart girl. <laughs> not giving that away. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to share with us about your game or your experience or? I just had a great time. You know what? It shouldn't be as long as it should be. It should be maybe half of it and then do it again. Cause it is, it is, it is a lot of fun and it is great meeting different people from different time zones too. Yeah. It's great. And it's like, well, this person's not up, but oh, well too bad. Let's just keep chatting, you know, and your phone's going off and it's like, good morning or good night. Yeah. Well, if you continue watching, we'll have you, we'll invite you back down, down uh, later on the season. Down the line. Sure, you have no problem. That that. Thanks, guys. No yeah. problem. Great, great job. Good job, job Susie. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. You have to put an end meeting. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Aw, so, Susie. I, I, I feel for Susie being the first I one do. out would be rough obviously i think she just didn't fully know what she was getting herself into and i think that if she were to come back she would come up back a little bit more strategic a little more guns blazing yep. a little bit yeah. more idea of what she was getting herself into but i think i'm happy that she had a good experience and yeah. like she wants to play again as opposed to never wants to play again which is yeah I, I i really do think she was the victim of just you know other people's plans is what it sounds like it will exactly and if you know you haven't you made any connections with people like very strong ones like it's kind of hard to penetrate that like it's just yeah. how it is that's how exactly. it is so we had a it's a pretty eventful week that went on like i don't know where my week one my week day two notes are but it started off with curtis winning head of household now what was the call yeah. of the it was the clue, correct? Yes. So how did that game even work? I, so basically- We, like we didn't get, like, yeah, we didn't get the full, I think, details of it because I don't know where they were drawing from as far as people. But I remember Andrew saying that just on his second try, I believe, of uh, he got it as to, you know, because he was kind of going to tell people. I, I don't know like where the full list of, I'm sure he listed it within the Big Brother uh, their chat, but um, yeah. where the full list of like, you know, what all the options were of people, places and things like that. Yeah, I think it ended with Jan with a with piece of paper. paper in the lobby or something. Correct. That's correct. <laughs> what, what do you think? I mean, second try is pretty fast. I feel like to succeed in that kind of challenge, you do need a bit of teamwork. Do you think that's what got him there? Could it be pure luck? Oh. He was working with his department. Yeah. I, uh, well, I, I think, I think, he... yet. There was no departments. Oh, correct. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. I think that he's, uh, I, re I remember saying that he, I thought he was laid back and chill. And, and I think he's, uh, definitely a player. Whose team is he on? He's on, um, Chantel, yeah. he's on your team. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's um, strong. Yeah, so he's the first head of household, and um, then we find out that um, they're going to be break broken into four departments because uh, Andrew was trying to nip in the bud having any um, preseason um, gaming alliances. So the four departments are sales, accounting, customer service, and warehouse. Um, how do you yeah. like this new little twisteroo? I'd hate it so much. Well, your people are spread. I'm all about winning. So even in our little draft pick, I'm like, okay. So Sorry, your people, so your, Jonathan, pe Susie, your, your people on? are, no, Susie's not oh, mine. Chantel, it's fine. Yeah. My, my, listen, my team is mainly uh, one, I think it's customer service. I have three people in customer service. Correct. Yeah. So I was like, great. They're all on one, you know, one team to kind of root for. I mean, on, on top of my other people, but um. Yeah, I think JoJo's yours is spread apart mostly. Um, I mean, 
just spread them out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you have someone in every department. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, do you know what? What I like about the twist is the fact that it gets people talking sooner. Um, I found just in general, when you don't know a lot of people and you're not in, being able to meet face to face and you're not in a house together where you can like start to really get to know someone, there was a little bit of an awkwardness of like, let me message that person and, you know, say, hey. You What's know, your favorite color? Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. even in our season, I never had a talk with Princess. I never had a conversation with Rhonda. And if we were in the same group, we would have had a conversation and we might have played, the game might have played out a little bit differently. So um, I like that it gets people really talking about game a little it bit sooner. It forces the involvement, which I think is great too. And, but I mean, in, we we're talking about Chad with Susie a little bit too, but um, Chad's really the one as from my perspective that got me and Jojo speaking because yeah. he called me and Jojo out um, in uh, initially he said like, what were, what were they like the first person to go Jojo or something? It was, I think it was, would be the least. Um, Who do I want to bring to the final two? It was like, you least know, deserving person to be here or something. Yeah. And so same with you. He, yeah. So he called four of us out and Oh, that's my dog in the background. Don't mind that. He called four of us out and uh, that kind of led to me and Jojo speaking initially. Yeah. And so, um, you know, that was, uh, that kind of forced. So, fuck you, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, He's thanks, Chad. He's going to take credit for it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're kind of a little bit split. I think it's a positive. For this type of game, it's positive. Um, it could end up being seeming unfair but because like you can obviously we'll have a group that's safe and it makes it a, like less amount of people to choose from yeah. when doing nominations and voting people out. But I think for the initial involvement, I 100% agree that yeah. I think it's positive um, to get things going. I mean, a lot of this is as much strategy and socialization that you can have. A lot of this is luck too. And that's just part of it. I know the... Um, the not to get ahead of ourselves with the competition that they had for uh the next hoh um uh is is to me more luck than it is skill and i was always really bad at those ones so um you know you just you just have to kind of play your luck and i think if you have a strong social game like um you both did uh then it can really carry you through those luck competitions that may not you know work out in your favor so I personally hated the, those questionnaire competitions only because I didn't actually do a questionnaire beforehand, so I, I had nothing to yeah. base it on. Yeah. Um, but then you have the, I think, I think like if people are sharing information, are they going to necessarily give one another the correct information? But if it's luck, I would anyway. Yeah, that's what know. we tried to do. I tried to gather everyone. Yeah. Luck part of it is like you might got a nine out of ten on the like the true or false. Yeah. But yeah. you chose the question that you got wrong and you're eliminated. So that's where I think the luck comes in. I think that it's possible to have some sort of skill at um selecting, you know, which which answers are true or false. Yeah. Yep. Just a little bit a little bit of skill. Some Jeez. common sense too. Common sense, skill, probability, you yeah. know. Um, so being that, um, Curtis is the head of household, that means that the warehouse department is safe. And so that includes Marcin, Lisa, and Jack, the un unnamed house guest Jack uh, is Who's, safe. <laughs> was not happy that he was, uh, not assigned, uh, to one of us. Let me thing. just, let me just like clear the air. Obviously we don't know anything about you people initially. Um, yeah, we did. We did decide, like, based on your friggin' Facebook profiles or how much you were chatting in the Cheesecake Public Forum or general first impressions. But I'm glad that it actually lit a fire under some of your asses to play the game, to get excited about it, to feel something about it. So good, great, cool, <laughs> <laughs> wicked. So day three, what went on day three? So um, that they do the prank or no prank. Yeah. Um, oh I, I found it really hilarious about Andrew not being able to get I was 
um, I'm not one to, you know, I watch a lot of horror films, things like that. I'm not one to kind of be squeamish, but I swear he was going <laughs> to stab his hand. I was like, I was waiting for his, it's just, he was just going right in there. And I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> On camera too. <laughs> ah! Um, well, I was just like, I just, you know that it's going to expand in those cups. You know it's going to get super soft. Like, I just, I just did not think that that was going to work in that vessel, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I just, Good uh, luck. I thought it was very, uh, it was great. It was great television for me yeah. to see him try to get that out. I did wish you could see him do the all the steps. That would have been really great. Sort of a, a jump cut to, you know, the end product. But uh, It would have been a 35-minute video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, they if you exist. Done, uh, Meisner, it's like Knox and activities, you know. So yeah. this is activity. It would, would have been riveting. Sure. Yeah. Really would have and, been riveting. Um. So. And I had this is what day three, right? Correct. Ron? So I actually had a, something that I noticed on day three. Um, I uh, at the end of the day, and I, I I went to bed pretty late, so like a full day later, I went and checked on the views, and there were only. Um, there were only 16 views and I know that I was one of them. And I know some, you know, a few people who weren't um, a part of the game were meaning that the players aren't watching the videos right away. And I just, I want, and I know, you know, some of you, even us included may have missed a day or two here, but it's so early on. I think that you need to watch the videos. Uh, there's almost no excuse not to watch them daily at some point find 20 minutes to kind of check yeah it out. we've we've all because, got a little bit of time on our hands yeah because so. there was it was about 24 hours after that video was posted and there were only still 16 views so it was like some people aren't watching this and you have no idea what kind of information we've talked about this before what andrew's wearing what's being said sometimes maybe the music's different in the beginning of the video or you know things like that you need to be on top of that and be taking yeah. notes so don't miss any videos just um coming from past experience like going back is a slog <laughs> like, oh, it's dirty <laughs> it's going back 80 80 days of videos yeah. is good luck yeah I, I mean i watched all of them took notes on all of them and i still had to go back so make sure you're focused when you're watching them and like really absorb that information yeah i mean and like it's part Give of it a my rewatch. routine. I do get up and take notes on the cheesecake thing. I do do it daily. So, I mean, I know that everybody has a lot of other things to do, and this is not their number one priority. I get it. Um, but, I mean, it it will become more fun the more information that you have. The more that you get involved in it is the more that, that there's stakes attached to it, and the more that, you know, what heightened stakes is going to be heightened reality and more more fun, more experience. So. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Jonathan. Like, I think everybody should just like, that should be like a, fir a morning morning activity is watch yeah. that video and take some darn notes. Yes. Now, also on day three was the prank or no prank. And I believe Nick was the first person chosen to... Was he pick, did he pick number four, the faded number four? <laughs> I th was it four, yeah? Because I, 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 I know he decided not, not to, to partake. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about that? Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't have played. I, uh, because it's early on and because there's a lot of options, um, good and bad, I, and if you have a strong social game, you can have people protect you, like with Nicole picking the Pooh Brown Vito, our season. Um, so I probably... That week, was it? What, she didn't get it that week, though, did she? Uh, no, I had, I had it the first week. She got it, I think, the second week, but I'm, I'm, you know, it's still early enough in the game that you have, if you have a strong social game, I think you can have people protect you. Um, I'm a risk taker, so I probably, I don't think I would pick it later on anymore, but I would, I, I would definitely, <laughs> yeah, the first couple weeks well, or something, I would. In this game, I wouldn't do it this early on. If, did they know about the departments yet before they made the choice to pick? Um... I don't know not, about okay. that. Well, if I knew about the departments, I definitely Yes, they did. They did. So they did. I definitely wouldn't if they knew about the departments because that would be more likely of a chance of like not having the numbers on my side or being used as a, like a pawn. Like I just, I feel like it, there would be less, it would just be more risky. 
um, probability would be like more likely that I would go home. And you have to kind of assess how the um, departments are being handled too, because if there's a department with a bunch of people who aren't really participating that much, they're easy to kind of get on your side. But if there's leaders in each of them, then you're like, great, I, you know, they're going to be leading their pack and I don't know how I can infiltrate kind of the other three. Um, yeah. So it really depends, but yeah. Um, so Andrew was surprised that it was the highest rate of no thank yous to play um, to not as many risk takers. Do you think more risk takers or less risk takers or more game players? <laughs> I think they watched our video <laughs> and they were like, oh. um, I think I think it's a mix of both. Um, if you feel really confident, why take the chance? But at the same time, to have a little bit of power is a nice thing. I remember when. I dove in our first season. I was the first person to get the Emerald Power Beto, and people kind of forgot about it after a while. So I felt really lucky that I got a power right away. It wasn't really talked about for quite some time. I mean, that's kind of nice. Brenda has the Ruby Beto. Yeah. I don't know if, if it'll be the same fate for her, that people will kind of forget about it for a people. while or target her for it. People um, were forgetting yours, and also yeah. because Krista had that preseason special power that yeah, yeah. I feel like we kept pushing, you know, that yeah. to the forefront. We're like, Hey, remember Krista has this, let's forget about Jojo having anything. Yeah. Sapphire. Well, <laughs> well, so Sapphire. What would have been um, Nick's punishment for or his prank was he was going to be, Michael runs him over with a car and yeah. he's been a third nominee. For Meredith. That would, I mean. That's intense. Yeah. That, I don't know. That sucks week one. That does. So, yeah, I mean, I would be like, whoo, thank goodness uh, I said no to that, you know? You also might be able to see the fractions, though, in the house with three nominees. You might necess necessarily not get, like, a nine to four to zero vote. It, someone could be, th the mole could throw in a vote to that third person. Um, I would have loved to see a three nominee first um, eviction, but Oh, yeah. Good for Nick for not choosing, obviously. Um, so, yeah, the Ruby Power Veto is so it can be used up until the final six. Um, and so, basically, if the veto is used, you can save the other nominees. So, that means that both nominees would be saved, and that would require the head of household to put up two new nominees. Have we yeah. seen this in the real Game of Big Brother? I don't think so. I don't uh, think so either. No. I think that's a pretty good, I don't know. Pretty, pretty good. Gets a lot of blood on the head of household's hands that week. So yeah. that could be, could be used interestingly. <laughs> yep. I mean, Brenda's got some options with it. Hold on to it until you need it or make a big move and, and um, keep yourself safe, but save an ally or, you know. So we have the, how or the, um, the departments but um do you think there's a bus driver that you know against the bus drivers like there was in our season especially with the first person being one do you think there's uh that gonna happen at all this season or no personally i think that people that are playing will want to try and take some transit folks for numbers um who knows if it's genuine or if like a lot of these trans people could be fans of the show as well or know how to play the game or l fall into um being in a good spot so yeah like the fact that marson won that veto and didn't decide to ch save a transit person i mean he i'm i'd assume that he would say hey like one of you transit folks could go up if if i take her off well i um, think that I don't think that there's like a specific transit target, but I think that it's an easy, it, people can easily get rallied behind getting a target. Yeah, transit yeah it's a go-to. I think it's like, oh, let's just get up this person. They have, they have numbers that we can see, whether they are working together or not. It's just kind of like an obvious, like an obvious target, um, especially if they're not, um, like offering up any uh, safety or I don't know how much gaming is going on within. Well, Andrew says quite a bit. So, well, I mean, with, the, a week. with the transit people specifically though, I don't yeah. know if they are wheeling and dealing. It didn't seem as though Susie was wheeling and dealing. So, you know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So who knows? Who knows? There's, yeah, there seems like there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. And I don't know what, just because I know how much we told Andrew slash versus kept from Andrew and fed him some stuff that wasn't real and all, all those things, just because you have to, right? Like, it's, Sorry, it's, Andrew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I still don't think he knows half of it. But, um, uh, you know, it's... Oh, and spe- kind of speaking on that behalf, too, I wanted to briefly touch upon uh, receipts, um, a.k.a. screenshots. Um, I, a little tip from me would be, because there was a point in our season where you ha- you were forced to do it. And if you weren't showing your screenshots, you were, you know, you were the one. And so I, uh, going into um, it, I would suggest maybe to some people who might, uh, you know, not want to get mixed up in that, to just say right off the bat, like, look, I don't, I'm not going to ever show screenshots. I would vote you out right away. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, would you? Because but you if, you had, if you had it as a rule and like, no. you, no. Or know when to cut them. Ju- yeah, them. see, because yeah, because there's people who did them too many. Like Julian always had the ones that were like kind of cut and specifically edited, and yeah, and uh, it was a really. You know, deep- well, what I would do is. Well, how I would you narrate? Take, how would you navigate that? I always would take a um, a screen recording of it going down, so you knew that it wasn't shots, nothing. I want to be proven innocent. Um, I will always show the receipts. I will never deny the receipts. <laughs> so. well, well, with my rogue vote again, I had to. Uh, I, so fake. I yeah, I staged it yeah. with Andrew just because I like put in something else, and I was like, "You need to say this, Andrew," and he was like, "What?" And then I was like, "You just do this and don't don't say ten four right away, please." Yeah. And then so I showed mine in two shots on purpose, obviously. But I, yeah. we, I mean, it, we could tell, and then you wouldn't offer up the, the the screen recording, but we're just like we're like we know it's you, Jonathan, but okay. Yeah, I yeah. kind of veered against showing a lot of the, even though it was there was nothing else to hide, but I was I was just not doing it by the end, just because I felt like it was everyone forcing it just took. Um, you know, just if you go into the diary room and you kind of say something or or make a, a vote, you know, in real life, Big Brother, you don't then have the option of of playing the video to it. back to sure. everyone else. And so I didn't love that aspect of it, but, but I, I just mean, I just feel like people should get creative. Start thinking about that is what I'm saying that about that now because you need to kind of plan ahead as to how you're gonna really the screenshots. Yeah. I mean, I mean, great point. It actually, it was a thing that was slightly mentioned to me. Uh, I don't know who mentioned it, but they said like, "Hey, just be aware that people like will be demanding screenshots." And I remember thinking like, oh, oh, "You know what I mean?" But then like into it, I'm like, "Here they are! Here they yeah. are! You want them?" So yeah. every last. Uh, one. Oh, at one point, I was like, do you, "I think it was Julian too." I'm like, "Do you want to just log into my account because you can look?" <laughs> and I was, I was ready. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true though. So be beware as you get deep into the game, people will be wanting the receipts. Yeah. Um. So day four, what happened here? So apparently there was lots of game chats, and um, well, how do you feel about Andrew saying like now that it's out in the open that there there are at least three uh, alliances that he knows of? Listen, Andrew has to like he says produce a show and fill it with some content, and yeah. so. You know, that's the thing. If you come up with something interesting, might not be true, and feed that to Andrew, then he's going to fill it with that instead. So that's up to you. If you're telling Andrew and if he's aware of stuff, that's on you. So you need to be aware that without giving any specifics away, he's going to have to talk about things. Andrew really also loves to know what's happening. I think he was a little put off with our season because we did keep things so tight-lipped from him. Um, Mm -hmm. There was so many chats that he wasn't aware of or included in. Um, It's a double-edged sword. Like, hey, I'm happy if one of you, if you guys are a part of the the three alliances, that's good for your game. But for anyone that's not involved in one of those three alliances, then maybe you should take a second look around and see what you can do. Well, exactly. Um, And like, just with this like format itself, like even us, like I don't want what we say to be hindering anybody's game. No, But I think that because it's a different way that we're playing, it's not Big Brother in the house where everything's, you know, secluded. Like use everything that's happening as 
as part of your game. Like, know that, hey, these people are gonna be talking about me. Like, so let me give them something to talk about that will facilitate my game. Or if I'm giving, as you're saying, Jonathan, information to Andrew, make it be useful to my game so that instead of it, you being the victim of like people outing things, like be a little bit more of the author of your own fate here and mm -hmm. use the tools that are going to be spoken about you as part of your game and part of your strategy. So Perfect. that's my stand now. 100%. Uh, like, I was definitely being like, oh, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to hurt someone's game. I definitely don't want to hurt anybody's game. But I want people to use us and use Andrew as part of their game because this is the game that you're playing. You're not playing avoiding this, you're playing using these as obstacles, as tools. Use us, yeah. Right? Yeah! yeah. yeah you have a lot use of, us. you know, this is just another element this year. And by all means, you know, play the game, play us, play everyone, do what you gotta do to win. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, that's this is the day with a pretty penis conversation. I don't know if you guys want to have a little mention about that. I, I mean, know. Susie missed. Oh, it. here we go. Uh, whoa! Ah, pink. <laughs> Are you a redhead? Um, <laughs> so, how do you feel about Curtis's nominees then? At that point, so. Uh, he nominated Megan, and sorry, Megan, for saying your name incorrectly on our first. Yes, yeah, or Megan. Megan. Do that so again. I like I like Megan too. Megan, uh, Megs, Maggie. Me Megan's on Susie. my team. Megan's on my team, and I was actually really worried um, from a kind of her statement. I was like, oh, is she not playing as much as I think she might be. I I don't really know, and. So I'm, I'm happy to see that she received nine votes. And again, she may or may not be uh, playing as much as I hope that she is. It might, she might just be a victim of everyone else's plans too that got her to stay. So, um, but, uh, but I, was, I was initially, I want to keep my five. So I was, I was worried. <laughs> um, Curtis has a, a new accent that we didn't hear last season. He's a South African. How do you feel about his accent? Uh, well, my best friend's South African who can do the accent really well, and I've heard it a lot with, uh, you know, through actors and whatnot. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if that's a South African accent, but it's a choice for sure. Choice. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Um, what was this? No personal issues doesn't support them as the mole. What's that? What am I talking about? Doesn't support them as the mole. Oh, um, the message from the mole? Oh, oh, correct, correct, correct. Um, so that yeah, how did you day five? that message? Do you think that was an Andrew message? Do you think it was actually um, spoken from the mole? I hope it was spoken from the mole, but... Yeah, I... I, I hope so. I question how much, um, you know, I feel like... Oh, we're talking about the mole. I feel like Andrew wouldn't just be like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I, I feel like he would have thought out who he wanted as the mole, and for whatever reason, and um, and is probably uh, attempting to work alongside them, but at the same time, it's it's that person's game, so he would let them make their choices. Um, so I definitely feel like that probably came from whoever the mole is. And do you think that um, I might have asked you this before, but you might, your opinions might have changed? Do you think that Andrew's giving them a little bit more information, being the mole, or do you think that it's still? he still treat them as like a house yeah, guest. Yeah, I, I feel like he would not. I feel like yeah. he still treat them as, as a house guest who doesn't have any privileged information. Um, and it's just kind of like another added thing. It's like, it's up to you. If you make it in the game or not, then, you know, so be it. So, so the veto picks are picked. Um, so it's going to be Lynn, CJ, and Marcin were picked. And then, so obviously it's going to be the head of household. So Curtis, um, Megan and Susie are all playing. What do you think about the veto picks? I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I think it. I think the first veto is kind of a so hard. Unless you're, unless you're on the block, I don't really give a shit who's playing. Um, unless someone that you're really close with is nominated and you really want to keep them around. So I don't know if we had any people, CJ, Lynn, Marson. I don't know if any of them were really invested in Susie or, or Megan. Mm -hmm. um, I think it depends on that. But in our season, 
uh, Nicole was on the block week one, correct? And then Julian did save her, right? Yeah. So yeah, it was that it was definitely an opportunity for them to develop a, an alliance. Whether that actually was an alliance that was. Yeah, really- I don't. I don't. I don't think there was one initially, but then they were almost think, forced into one because of it. So I think because Nicole chose Julian, mm-hmm. he felt the need to have to take her off the block. Right. So, I mean, maybe if Susie or maybe if Megan had won the option of choosing someone, they might have felt a little more inclined to take her, take one of the two off if they had won. Yeah, that's um, right. But Marson was in a really tough position if three different groups of people wanted three different outcomes. Is that, okay. and, is that there or was that next day? Yeah, and, oh, that was another day. <laughs> um, and actually, it was day five that the mole had their message. So he's like, hello, loser. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are having fun on day one of your adventure, of your eventual downfalls. Or are you just, um, or are you just getting to know each other, discussing your favorite colors? How cute. Um, pretty soon, I will enter the game and you will feel my wrath. Poor Curtis Ooh, uh. on his high horse as the first head of household. Interesting. If you evict me by accident, your ass is grass. I'll send you to you to Mexico and build a wall around it. Um, Gosh. What's the rest say? I can't even read my own. Island. Uh, something will pay. Uh, somebody will pay for. I think his depart. Their, their department the will pay for. And. Uh, you can't, you can't go home. Something like that. Anyway, so this is what the mole had to say. It just, I just don't picture somebody speaking like that. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I have some guesses as to who the mole is, which I won't say, but... Um, I want to know. I feel... Well, well I'll, just say, I'll just say what, what departments I think they might be in. Okay. Um, I would say that uh, I actually think sales or warehouse may have the mole. Just saying. Oh. Um, and I definitely feel like there's one or two people who would um, speak like that to really kind of play it up and play into it. Um, um, okay. Well, we can talk about this offline. I think I know who your picks would be for both of those departments. So that's it's funny. Whole mansion, but yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll talk to you about it after for yeah. sure. Um, so this is the day. Day five was when Jack and Brenda are pissed. Pissed. Pissed <laughs> at um, I mean, you know, took them long enough. Like, yeah, five, Day five. pissed <laughs> over a pink couch. <laughs> what pink couch? I don't know what you're talking mm. about. Well, I'm gonna have a pink couch Who's next pink week. Couch? You, you will see yes. my pink couch now. As you said already, JoJo, um, I you like that it lit a fire under their butts and got them at least like talking and gaming and kind of as I just said a few minutes ago, like okay, like, you know, you're pissed at us, but like, what did we say? Like, wh- how could you use that? Like, how is that maybe how you're coming across to other people? Like, how do you go and rectify that if that's what yeah. people are thinking about you? Like, it- it's a lot of, like, information I find is power in this game. And if you know how people are, are seeing you and having at least one perspective, like, that's a way that you could use your advantage to maneuver the game a little bit better. Sure. So, I wouldn't be throwing a tantrum. I would be figuring out the way to. Um, well, well, like we, uh, like I said earlier, you know, Jojo and myself were called out early on from Chad, and uh, you know, the first week, and he, you know, and we, I mean, Jojo, you were final three, so it's like um, I was on jury as well, so it's like we didn't allow that to hinder us. We took it and kind of oh, ran. Oh fuck it. no. Yeah. I mean, I think you need a really thick skin to play this type of game. And people that do have thinner skins tend to lash out, I think, a little bit more and taking things a little bit more personally. Um, it is just a game. When it comes down to it, your feelings might get hurt. That's going to happen. And no one wants to hear people talk poorly of them. Um, but it is what it is. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Brenda. <laughs> Brenda, you're on my team. Like, well, I chose according you. To the experts, <laughs> you know. I love that. According <laughs> to the experts. <laughs> yeah. well, we are an expert in the sense that we have played this game before. <laughs> yeah. But we're yeah. also well aware of, like, you know, even those comments. We don't know what's genuine, what's not. People are playing the game fully. And so um, we're going to comment on from what we hear. But at the same time, sure. we are aware that some of these are to provoke us or some of them are to 
you know, gain um, sympathy from other people or whatever. They're, you know, everything's manip- manipulated potentially. So um, yeah. we're aware of that. Yeah. Anyways, we will have more information to go on as you guys, you know, interact in the house and make some moves. So, yeah, do something. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> Challenge you. <laughs> make it happen. So basically, yeah. That after that was was that when the oh they played the exploding beats. So that was the yeah the that veto. Was that was fun. Um, veto competition and. Poor Susie, like when we were hearing the recap, I was like, oh my God, when, like, you, when you decide not to go for it, don't make the switch ever as Jonathan will contest. Do not change your mind if you're at the last minute. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. That is yeah. called um, your inner saboteur, as Rue would Ooh. say. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's, and... what's a saboteur? <laughs> would have won most likely because then she wouldn't have gotten that exploding feat and then the next person would have picked would have either been Megan or Marson and one of them would have gotten that would have been out yeah and so she would have maintained the highest number and then she just wouldn't have hit and she probably would have won let's not remind her well, I mean, <laughs> Susie's watching right now it. so sorry Susie well I, you made the wrong choice <laughs> She knows she did, and yeah. it, it, that's probably, I don't think she mentioned her biggest regret, but that probably would be her biggest regret, is not sticking with her gut, as you said, with her husband, and not uh, going for that extra point. Um, if she was counting cards, they have gone through quite a few cards, so she could have yeah. seen that the odds were high that she was going to get a beat at that point. Yeah. Boo. But um, the outcome ends up being that Marcin from the warehouse department, so the same department as the head of household, so that yeah. warehouse department has all the power this week. Um, he wins the power of veto. Yeah. Um, and with that split that you were talking about earlier with uh, three different groups wanting Marston to, you know, do three different things or whatever, yeah. I mean, it's not surprise. And then with Curtis being uh, HOH and in the same uh, department, it's not surprising that he didn't use it. Um, that would yep. really be kind of putting yourself out there unnecessarily. So, um, yeah, if, if maybe the head of household was in a different department yes i could see him not because like yeah no i wouldn't want to upset my department and the head of household that's that's not really a good look no yeah day six uh, so we have megan and susie on the block um and this is when um they they start talking about knowing the the ally about the alliances and like yeah being kind of upset with andrew about those alliances and I'm just, I, I feel bad for Andrew in the sense that, like, he's, I, I know that he doesn't want to affect the integrity of the game. And so I'm just wondering what can be done different, like, what else, other than just, like, shut up and use this as your own, as a tool, like, what can, how can we help these people out? Like, what can we do? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> that's a tough one. It is. I... I don't know. I I kind of I I like Andrew's format for for how he wants to do it. Yeah, and I think it's I think a part Andrew of the can game. say whatever the yeah he can say whatever the hell he wants. If it it's gonna piss people off, this will not be the first time that the cast gets mad at Andrew. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> but it happens. And I mean, it's um, it's something that is like along with Andrew's twists. He always says it's up front, and so up front, you know how he runs this game. Yeah, you know what his how he does it and if you you either like we said use that against you or for you or how or not at all but you know you can't just sit there and complain about it um because it's not something that's just happening it's something that has been happening and will continue so it's it's yeah. part of the game as far as i'm concerned yeah, yeah. i agree well I, and i also i guess I don't know. I just, I mean, I, I probably would just start picking and choosing what I made obvious to him. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm not telling everybody to not tell you everything, but like, if it was something that bothered me, I would just like be a little bit more. Oh, well, and I think it's a good information 
for people that aren't in alliances to be hearing this. So get working, like yeah. figure things out, go find out who these alliances are. Maybe Andrew's lying. Maybe these people have made it look like they're in an alliance just so Andrew could talk about them to distract from the people that actually are in an alliance. Like <laughs> that's, that's know, getting so complicated. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know, just play, play the game, play your game a little bit more instead of worrying about what Andrew thinks a hundred percent because yeah. he only knows a very little bit and for all we know is the three alliances that he knows of are the three different departments like you know what I mean like they're yeah. working together like that very easily could be the three alliances very easily. Or, or it could be one alliance that has a couple of extra people in on it the Russian doll effect who knows yeah. I feel who like knows? it's just you know, everyone has There's more their than own, three. Surprise. Yeah, I'm sure. Everyone has their own um, perception and everyone's perception can be correct in a way. You know what I mean? Like if you tell us, the three of us, you know, a scenario from last season for us, we might have three different views on it and it's not saying yep. anyone's wrong. It's just saying, it's like, well, I was behind this actually and JoJo might think he was behind it. I mean, the reality of it is we all were. We all played our part. And yep. so, um, you know, everyone's perception is, is, is their reality. And, and just, valid. Yeah. And valid. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the idea of using information as power. So just use it, guys. Just use yes. it. Know that Andrew is going to spill whatever you want him to. That's powerful. It's powerful to have whatever narrative that you want to have be told, be told. Every information that you put out there, we're going to talk about it. Use it. Like. Yep. Anyways, um, this was actually the day, though, that we, the result of the veto competition happened. The other one was just the explanation of the game. Oops. Um, so this is when we find out that um, Marcin is the winner. And this is where we actually should be talking about whether or not he should be using it. But we decided that yeah, it was yeah. probably best for him to stick with his department since it's, they were in power. Keep all the power and not irritate the head of household and change the nominations. Yeah. Okay, so we're on to day seven. So, yeah, we, again, we're talking about cross department alliances possibility. Um, kind of already talked about what we thought about that. Um, he's, I said, I wrote down, he talks about head of household being in a difficult position. Uh, what do you think I meant by that? I don't even know. Oh, no, this is why. Um, so, Mar he was saying that Marcin is being pulled into different directions by yeah, three, three different groups. Um, well, since we're, we're spilling tea here, like, what do you think the three different groups are? Well, obviously, um, his head of household, his, his warehouse group. And well, I, I mean, she, her group, look maybe at, the other two people are the other, the other group. Looking at numbers, the warehouse has three trans of people and Curtis, and, I'm a, and Curtis is head of household, so maybe Lisa and Jack wanted him to use it on because the, th the two of them would have been safe um and that would have secured Susie's safety but that could have made who's the other transit person i'm lost lynn there's five of them there's five uh, lynn yeah. Susie, marcin jack and lynn so that could have put lynn, lynn in a difficult or in a bad position with curtis as head of household cj um, lisa is, is cj or lisa transit i forget i think i thought cj was transit I don't fucking know. I know there's only five. Someone did confirm with me that there was five, and then all obviously uh, Susie. Well, I put five. CJ as transit, but maybe I'm wrong. I also put Lisa as transit. I might be wrong. I put Lynn transit question mark. I don't think Lynn's transit then. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get a job right now, go work for transit. You should all be working for transit right now, working together. And then you can play Cheesecake. Yeah. Five. There it is. There it it's is. Uh, Lisa, C Jack, Suze, Susie, Marcin, and CJ. Those are your five. CJ, okay. okay so, so that could have. I looked it up from my source. There we go. So if Marcin did use um, Veto on Susie, it could have put CJ in danger if that was the route that Curtis was going with targeting one transit, one non. Um, I, I don't know if that's what it was. Yeah, I think there's definitely, uh, I think, you know, people are uh, actively, I would think, working against transit. That's an easy kind of let's get together or even like two departments. Hey, let's get together, um, you know, and 
and then you know how we kept kept Lynn, although she was transit right till the end. I mean, there's like a few that they might, but then they might target them as a whole. But then there's a, like one or two if they're in the same department that they might kind of just say, "But we'll protect this person." For Come now. along with me. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Got it. Um, so Marson, lucky guy, gets the Julian Stoner voice. <laughs> uh, Andrew just like loves his life. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, I, he, I, what I really appreciate is he really actually I can tell he's having a good time. Yeah. Um, but yes, he got the Stoner voice. And it's just funny though how these voices do paint my ideas about these people. Like I don't think that Marson has that as how he is as a person at all but like the fact that he gets this stoner voice i'm like oh he gets he's a stoner yeah yeah i know well jojo what you were a computer robot thing oh, last I, loved year. Best. I was um jojo <laughs> cpo right. cpo joe jo- i don't know i was One some like italian mobs i'm not even mobster yeah i was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking i never i didn't know it was miss piggy i just i remember i hated i didn't either so i just thought it was like a, it was a generic yeah. but now that he said it i'm like oh i can hear it okay i see what you're saying well, I asked him at one point, I'm like, do I have to have that that voice? He's like, I love Miss Piggy. The last year's winner was Miss Piggy. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember him flirting with wanting to change mine to the queen because I kept referencing myself as Queen Jojo. And I think there's a queen this year coming up, surprise to someone. I don't know if he's used it yet. Um, but I thought that was cute. I'm like, all the little voices. All the little voices that Andrew's voice- had is the best voice that he has. So I would stick with that and then the queen. Yeah, Joanne. You know, exactly. <laughs> no, thank you. So yeah, so Megan ends up having um, my Miss Piggy voice as well as Chanel's Miss Piggy voice. Now, just to make things uh, controversial. Uh-oh. Go you for it. Are we pulling that card? think that there is some sort of correlation that the last three black women that have played this game, two whose last names are Frances, um, he correlates that with Miss Piggy. I think uh, Miss Piggy is beautiful. I think he has a lot he of respect. three beautiful girls. Yeah, so. he has a lot of respect for Miss Piggy. It's one of his favorites. And I think that secretly he probably had some favorites going in. So he pr- labeled the favorite voices to the favorite people. Good answer. <laughs> that is a good answer. Yeah. Good answer. I'm just being controversial. I don't, I don't that. think that it's intentional, but I did You know all won, so. <laughs> Say again? I said you all won. You That's won. That's true. Yeah, so, so you, Megan, this yeah. is looking good Listen, for you. I'll take the Miss Piggy voice if it gets me the win, so. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um, so Susie's voice is, I didn't understand who she was. I, the I, think, she's her, I think she's her, I think she's herself. With the laughing? Yeah, I think he was just doing her as herself. Yeah. He just said, like, she laughs all the time. She She's so friendly. She's got a big smile on her face. Um, um, I didn't hear her laughing that much. Yeah. but Confirmation from Andrew. Like, I just don't know who that voice is. And so I yeah, got... It was herself. Okay. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, it seemed like it. It seemed like he was just doing her. Which I think yeah. some of the, like, the voices in the earlier seasons originated from... Um, a themselves. Them, from themselves, yeah. yeah. Charlene, Joanne. Yeah. Fair. You're right. Um, so Marson, though, did not want to upset the head of household, so he left the nominees the same. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, so this is day eight. Another complaint from these house guests. Jeez Louise. Um, but there's Nothing. been a little bit of a fight, though, within the sales department. So that's with Susie Lynn. Brenda and Ashley. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Chad stuff. Chad's comments, right? I yeah. I feel like Chad is so transparent. Like fuck, get like, fucked. He. I don't know what he actually looks like, um, because he had that superimposed face. Yeah, I had to. I think he's a younger guy. I had to. Um, I had to look it up. I, I think it was after our season was over. I was like who is this person but um after he was like trying to stir something up later on too but um <clears throat> I, I i don't know i would question i it doesn't feel genuine to me if we're talking about going with our gut and stuff that a whole argument based off of something that chad would i don't know it just and i know Susie was saying how 
um, that was all real. And it, to me, it just, uh, there's something fishy about it. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's, I'm not, okay, I'm not, I'm going to talk to you guys about something sure. about that. It just seemed too, um, I mean, I don't know anything behind the scenes, so I can say it, but it, it just seemed too strong of a, um, of a, response? like, words and, like, things that they were saying to kind of get into it over something so I think, silly. I think there was more to it than that, though. Like, Ashley had mentioned a secret that she had revealed to someone that maybe had been revealed to someone else. <clears throat> Um, that is what Andrew had mentioned in the video without mentioning what it was, not to put any more speculation on it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think, I think they were kind of masked behind the Chad drama to even like maybe let off some steam or to deflect, deflect. Yes. <laughs> Um, so Andrew also told the story about going to Niagara Falls with um, our favorite friend Tiffany. Um, I was uh, that just an aside? Would that story have any meaning? I didn't write no, it. Oh, no, it was just. No, it was just to say how he met everyone and how and uh, how just, Tiffany's you know, a heinous bitch. Yeah, like why are we even? I don't. Why are we even talking about her? I um, just just a little blow. Ugh, but she's gonna yeah. be on this season for sure. You know, Lyle. Yeah, we're having Tiffany on next week too. Oh my god, the four of us. Actually, we should talk to Tiffany. They fuck yeah. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not kidding, here this kidding. that week. <laughs> She's filling in for Jonathan. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. So then after that, um, there is a new head of household competition. So at the beginning of the season, it seems there was something similar that we had to do where there was some sort of survey. survey. There seems to be cocktails. Ours were appetizers from the Cheesecake Factory. I guess maybe those are cocktails from Cheesecake Factory. Um, and they had to rank them probably in their order of preference. And so this competition, he had true or false questions regarding generalizations over all the um, current house guests um, where they rank things in their surveys. So how Andrew does this, and this is what kind of burned some of us in our season, I kind of mentioned it earlier on this video, was that he randomly selects which question he is going to choose at a time. And then if that, whoever gets that question right moves on. So you could be unlucky and have a lot correct, but just get the wrong question pulled that you didn't do well in. So the outcome is revealed. And on Jonathan's team, Yay. Nick is the new I'm head of household. So happy. Uh, my team was safe this week. And then uh, they are now HOH. So I knew he would. I knew he could pull this out. So Pull this Goodbye. out. Luck-based competition. <laughs> yeah. No, I, have yeah. A, I have a question for you, too. Um, what people might not know initially is a lot of the head of household challenger challenges are done before the opposing the upcoming eviction um so sometimes a head of household is crowned before with an eviction takes place both yeah but I, don't they usually though have voted we've had voted before or was it sometimes no we we've had no. people play in it that uh are right. evicted that yeah. week um it's yeah a, it just it doesn't count right so yeah so I think that brings another element to it. Um, say like Susie won head of household or Megan won head of household this round before the, the eviction. Do you think that could have maybe swayed things? Um, I vote? think she submitted those answers before, um, like at the same time that they submitted their, I don't think that it, it affected it. This no? week, this week, I don't think it did. Um, I think it can. Something to keep in mind, though. Yes. I think it can, and I think it's definitely something that we played into last year um, on the occasional, you know, week or whatnot. Um, and as the game goes on, I think that comes into effect more and more when there's less people. Um, as far as like, you know, if this person's actually, you know, I mean, if because the person can win. And you're like, oh, I need to vote them out because uh, they're going to win HOH otherwise. You know what I yeah. mean? So it's that information is something to keep in mind. Absolutely. And I, I forgot about that. But yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. We'll now, see. is it too much to to speculate on who 
we think he will nominate or is that uh, just for our own private thoughts? I have no idea. Could I mean, be only because I have no idea, I'm fine with throwing out names. I don't know that I have any, but let's see who's on. Uh, so who's Customer safe? Service is, yeah, is so Megan. Megan, Lindsay. congratulations, Megan. Yes. No. Lindsay. Um, CJ. And CJ. Yeah. So you're all safe. I mean, this will definitely be very telling because second week HOH, that was my position. Um, if no one's causing a stir and if there's not easy votes, then, you know, you could go after potentially uh, first week HOH um, or other, you know, depending on if you're working with them or not, um, or uh, if there's a, um, a, a bus driver situation thing happening, then you might want to target them too. Uh, or the the fights, any fights or any disagreements, you can target people who are kind of causing that, which may be why there was a fight. I'm just saying. Anyway. Um, or keep them around. Yeah. So it, it, really, it really depends on what your strategy is and kind of what's happening. But I think he has several different options, um, good ones that he can kind of go with that will really not put a lot of uh, blood on his hands. Keep him kind or of- Or all the blood. I mean, I'm really, ex- <laughs> I'm excited to see what it. Nick, yeah, I'm excited to see what Nick does with this. H-O-H. Yeah, me too. Especially like he was your, he was basically the number one pick from you. Um, just to yeah. see, you know, getting power second week, um, it definitely is going to show a lot. Um, and to see like how the f- cards fall are basically going to be, it's going to start the steering the direction of the season from this week. I think the first week is kind of a crapshoot. Second week, though, people have started talking. So uh, I think it. That's why with our season, I wanted it. And it I think we. Had, what was ours? Big Brother election. Oh, yeah, we got the virus. No, it was the, I didn't win the virus. It was election, and oh, yeah, virus was week three. Um, and so I just, I was like, both for me, please, because I wanted to dictate kind of how, and I agree with you. I think it really is, you know, all of the alliances and stuff are formed, but there's still so much room for the way things are going to happen. And when and, uh, an alliance kind of takes charge, then there might be, it might pick up some floaters. It might pick up some um, uh, smaller alliances along the way. So- uh, Or they're going to blow up completely. Exactly. Week two is really defining, I think. And so it's an important week to kind of be in favor um, with the house. Uh, so we'll see. I'm ex- I'm actually excited. I don't, I think I'm more excited because we're talking about it and like I'm actually paying attention to everybody's game and like I love Big Brother and so do you guys. So kind of just over speculating, you know. <laughs> I just, yeah. yeah, you never know. Like the tiniest little bit of information we're getting, we're just like... <laughs> Sucking Taking it all it and run, running yeah. with it, yeah, absolutely. Running with it. exactly. Does there anything else you guys want to say? Add? Did I miss anything? Did we miss anything? Um, no. Yeah, we talked about everything. I think that I have down. Um, just keep playing, keep paying attention to all those details. Um, watch all the videos, guys. Uh, know all the titles of the competitions and who won what when. Um, you know, oh, it, oh, counts. it's never, and if you haven't started yet, it's not too late. I'm um, like, watch those videos, write it all down. You're still only a week into it. So yeah, um, do it now. So you're not, don't do it 20 yeah. days from now. When you're on vacation in Mexico, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun being by the beach, like drinking margarita, right? Watching videos on your phone with shitty Mexican Wi Fi, like trying to take notes. Ugh, just covered. It's not fun. Okay, no. well, I love you guys. Thanks for chatting with me today. And um, make sure you actually you subscribe right down below. Hit the like button if you like this little video and ring that bell so we can update you every week when we have a new video for you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah.